To be very, very fair, I was not prepared for this. Good morning, my loves. First, let's go have breakfast because I think the breakfast buffet will be amazing. So let go. Let's start with the bread and the rolls. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious over here. And like the sausages, churros. They have churros. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we will go to the next side. Mmm, all the fruits. Oh, grapefruit, yes. I'm going to have grapefruit. Cheese, baby, cheese, baby. Come to mama. Cereals, of course. Oh my freaking gosh, croissants. Yes, I want it. Dried fruits, jams, cookies. Cookies? Wow. Yeah, baby. Oh, brownies. Oh, yeah. Donuts. They have donuts. I'm a happy panda. I have no idea where the others are, so... Oh, wait. Oh, no, Amanda is just coming, so they're not here yet. But I'm just gonna dig in. This is what I have. So, a croissant. I don't know what this is. I don't hope there's like a sausage in it or something. Cheese. Bread. Yeah. Oh, snap. This is a pudding roll. Can you see it? It's like... It, it's filled with custard. And it's so crispy and so fresh. 12 p.m. Time to check out. Found the other ladies and we are just off to the beach because they were already there and they said it was amazing. So. The beach, baby. The beach. Oh, wish we could stay for one more day. There's like this beach smell and the weather is so perfect. It's like not too hot. There's like a little breeze. Like, oh, can you feel it, baby? It's so nice. Seriously, how cute this is. This is like a beach restaurant and it smells fantastic because it's almost well it is lunchtime actually look at the cute boat and we're just gonna sit outside here oh yes baby having a salad at the beach oh my gosh this is so good uh, we have to go and we're saying goodbye to lovely Brigitte. bye sweetheart you're coming to Amsterdam? Amsterdam? She's coming to Amsterdam in July. Yeah. Winning in life. <laughs> and this is her office. She's gonna yeah. she has six more hours and she's she's gonna work here. This is her office. Yeah. We don't wanna go. In the car on our way to the airport and our driver just turned on the radio and we were both like oh. We wish the party was like two nights. It was so much fun. And we're at the airport again. Amanda just said, I just had a deja vu. We were here last yesterday as well. Christmas came early, baby. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. It was so much fun. My party partner. Next time again. Thank you. Thank you. It is eight. I am in the train. Um, just had to pack my other trolley. And then we're just going to make the 9.30 bus to London. Home sweet home. And I'm just repacking what I need from that one. In this one, my outfits are already ready for four days in London. Yeah, this might not have been the smartest thing I have ever done. <laughs> I'm quite tired and I would have loved to have a breather, but I literally don't have a minute to spare, except, you know, talking to you. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish uh, the packing and then just printing the ticket for the bus and we can go to London. Oh my gosh, if it wasn't for Stefan, I would have just ended up at the wrong train station or actually bus station because we're leaving from Duivendrecht and I thought we were leaving from Sloterdijk, which is totally on the other side of town. And the printer wouldn't work on my laptop. So I asked Stefan, can you print it on your laptop? And he was like, uh, are you sure you need to go to Sloterdijk? This, this ticket says Duivendrecht. I was like, oh, then it's Duivendrecht. Ah, I'm so sleepy. Got all my luggage. Do you leave? Bye. Okay, well there's a massive line for the check-in, not used to that. 
I checked in. The line was actually quite quick. It's all right. And now we're off to the bus. Let's see if I can find a good seat. Ooh, this is quite narrow. All right, then we leave it. Oh my gosh, where's the seat? I need a seat. Winning a life next to the toilet could be a blessing, could be a curse. We are leaving off the London. We are now in Calais and we have to take our passport through the French passport control and the uh, British passport control. And this may sound really ignorant, but I actually thought about not bringing my passport because I was like, oh, this is the bus and you probably don't need it. And the last time I traveled by bus, I went to Paris and Prague and I didn't need my passport. And uh, I almost didn't bring my passport. So I'm very happy I did. <laughs> French passport control is done off to the UK. Done and done. Let's see if we can find the bus. Where's the bus? Where's the bus? Oh, maybe it's just right there where we got out. Found the bus. It is now 1.45. So we still have five and a half, five hours and 45 minutes to go until then. And we're off again. So we're crossing over by ferry. Actually, I just realized that the passport comment was extremely ignorant because they did check our passports in Germany when we went to Prague. So I needed my passport then also. So it was just wow. <laughs> we just heard that we still have an hour until we can go onto the ferry, load onto the ferry. So we're just going to randomly have to wait for an hour and we'll be loading at 3.30 a.m. Uh, we're on the ferry now and we have to get out of the bus because we have to go to the passenger terminal or the yeah, passenger room, whatever. It's mandatory. I don't know if I'm on a ferry or if I'm in a city. By the way, this looks good for sleeping. I need to find a place to sleep. Well, yes, I will take this couch as my sleeping place. And then they start blasting the music. <laughs> 4 a.m. in the morning. Gosh. All right, we are in Dover. And I'm heading back to the bus to be very very fair. I was not prepared for this like mentally It feels quite draining especially this ferry because it's freaking cold on this ferry Something like it's not completely heated and you know You know, I made some crazy travels like you know, I took three flights in Brazil and uh, traveled for 30 hours and then in Thailand I took like a bus and then a ferry and then a bus again and everything it's like I'm used to hardcore travel but this feels like just such a hassle and I think it's because I was just not mentally prepared I did not know what the journey would look like and then you know it's just it's it's definitely not as relaxed as our trip to Prague like Prague was 12 hours in a bus and you just sleep and you get there and it's done and over here it's like every single no no it's like five hour drive and then like get out to the passport control and then an hour later you get out to the ferry and the ferry is just it's so cold maybe like that's the thing like, that makes the biggest impact it's so freaking cold on this ferry but um yeah, let's just get to London and then evaluate later. Yes, we're on bus, we're on bus. One and a half hour until London to go. Well, good morning, beautiful London. And we're here at Victoria Coach Station. We're in London, baby! So I'm at Victoria Station now and I just have to figure out Hema? What? There's a Hema here! Like, what the heck? Like, it's the first thing I see. Look at that. Hema, it's a Dutch brand. Uh, I just have to figure out how to get to niche my brother's hotel. And this is also where I'm gonna end the vlog. So thank you so much for coming with me. We're going on a London adventure today. 
we have been slayed and it's not even like 4 p.m. or anything we have been slayed by London you're London you're too cool for us but that's gonna be the vlog for tomorrow if you like this vlog please put a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel click that subscribe button because there there's a lot of fun coming up thank you so much for watching see you tomorrow bye